Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Mr. Terrific, issue number one. Now, I actually remember back in 2011, when I was at my first college, I picked up Mr. Terrific a long time ago. When I was a kid, I, f I was still thinking the New 52 was a great idea, but now that I'm older and a bit more wiser, I'm left wondering was the New 52 a good, good idea or not. So I picked up Mr. Terrific off eBay so I can relive what I read before. So the cover you have is Mr. Terrific using his kind of tea orbs and that. And let's get on the story. It starts off with Michael Holt saying, Now where would I had a 10 foot suit of biomedical battle armor? And so he pretty much gets blasted down by an enemy in a high-tech suit, saying, Excellent. When our polluted clients learn I received some of the Uncle Sam's finest to Molnerous Ash, the suit will, will sell itself. And so Mr. Terrific leads him away from London, and you've got Pandora here watching some of the events, and everyone's like, Wicked! Who's that? Looks like a space biker riding their snooker balls. Not a bum. How? How can you tell from here? I just can. And so Mr. Vic leads him to the London Eye and uses the magnetics in his from the suit to trap him in the spear. And out of this remembers how, as Michael Holt, he had everything he could want. Accomplishment, life goals, until one day his wife got killed in a car crash. And after this, his wife wife tells him, saying, Educate in the world, like you did for me. Like you would have done for our son. And so, yeah... After this, Michael retreated to science, but after that let him down, he was so depressed, he was about to commit suicide, and I have been down that road before, but suddenly something happens, and it's a guy from the future saying, Michael Holt, yes, I have a message for you, don't give up. And says to him that he's a friend in that, and he says that, I'm your son, and he's like, come back, I have to know, how will it happen? And he tells a story to Karen Starr, now again, this isn't a Prime Earth Supergirl, this is the one from Earth 2, and if you have read the Earth 2 comics, then you know who she's meant to be. She's not meant to be like, like a, a Prime Earth Primer version, but instead meant to be the Earth 2 version. And Michael Holt invites her to his big party. Meanwhile, you got this guy eating some soup saying, oh, Susan's on my back with a brand new kitchen. Hell, we can bury a Ford at the place. And she wants to redecorate and a brat needs braces. How am I supposed to afford all this? So something happens, after he insults a waitress about her life choices, he leaves off and starts talking in science talk. Just then, the guy shows up with a baseball bat to confront him saying, Come back here you jerk! And yeah, this is going to get you arrested. So he sees him killing the homeless guy and goes, Problem solved! Oh man. And so, the, the, at the police department, they pretty much ask Michael Holt to help solve this thing. Turns out that this is mostly, mostly different equations that would give Stephen Hawkins a headache. So Michael Holt goes to his secret headquarters, which is an interdimensional location, and does some research, saying that how this guy was meant to be below average, and also at a community college. So meanwhile at the party, everyone's having drinks and that, 
and Michael Holt is talking to one of his friends or clients. Just then, Alika, who is maybe one of Michael Holt's employees, has a talk with Karen Starr, but they both have a kind of disagreement argument. But afterwards, they say, ah, nice party, showing that they're both trying to be, be hostile, but both trying to let it go. So, just as Michael Holt's talking to one of his friends about the project that he's working on, something happens to him and starts talking in the same way the guy did, and just then presses the device, which ends up causing an earthquake, and he's like, what's happening? I'm eliminating a threat, you see. The CCEN does more than a sort of kinetic energy. Release is doing some nanics, it's also enhanced releases it. Why in God's name would you do want to do that? And he says, to kill you, Senator. And yeah, this is the story. So, what do I think of issue one of Mr. Terrific? It's alright. It's trying to tell a simple story about how science should be cool and how science can help everyone. Now, I could see why this would only this only ran for eight issues. I would say it has a story it wants to tell, but deep down I think they knew that the story wasn't going to do well. So in my opinion, it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.